Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. I hope your weekend leagues and your weekends are going well. It's Sunday and that means mini release day is today and that means it's also Fofana day today in FIBA 22 as a part of Headliners Team 2. Of course, Fofana was not dropped with the main team of 11 cards released in packs on Friday, so it is very likely that he is coming out today as a part of the mini release, and that is going to be a big talking point today on this market. I also want to take a look at just this market as a whole as we had um, the compensation packs finished up, but it didn't really go as we had planned. And as we had talked about yesterday, it seemed like EA kind of like released some and then stopped and then released a bunch of these compensation packs later on as a lot more of these headliners are dropping more on the market uh, because I think the compensation came in a little bit later and it didn't exactly like it wasn't continuously flowing so that really did not work how we thought it was going to but in all reality again like what did we expect right this was something that we had never seen before so there was always going to be a learning curve to it so now we kind of know if this ever happens again how it might kind of take place with the compensation packs. But I want to talk about that and the Kloss SBC and how I feel like this market right now, we got team of the year, right? Team of the year is coming. It's coming soon. And I, I just feel like we're at a tipping point, right? We are at a tipping point where a lot of people are starting to sell some cards because team of the year is getting close. It's not like a market crash, nothing like that. It's just the first little bits of selling. And I think there is going to be more of that. And we're going to talk through some of that today. Also looking through all the content that we could see today on Sunday. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, of course, leave a thumbs up. That helps so much. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about today, Sunday, mini release, Fofana. What cards are we expecting today as a part of the mini release for Team 2? Of course, Fofana is the big one, right? But other names that were leaked, I will drop the link to this uh, in the chat or in the description uh, these are not necessarily like confirmed stats, I don't believe, but the players that were of the leaked team that we have not received yet, of course, Fofana is the headliner of those, Trap, Rafael Leao, and Mr. Harry Wilson. I think these are the four cards that we will see on the game today um, in FIBA 22, because I believe they should be dropping the mini release. Sundays usually are for those. So along with that, everybody's going to be really excited for Fofana today. Now, with how expensive some of the headliners started out on day one and how expensive some of them still are, like Vinny Jr., I believe, is 1.7 or like 1.8 high or something like that. 1.7 high, almost 1.8 mil, I believe, if I could find the right card. Yeah, okay, 1.7 mil for Vinny Jr. I mean, I know he's one of the most overpowered and overhyped and, you know, very just insane and meta cards on this game. Um, but a lot of these headliners have been starting out very, very expensive in packs. So I think that Fofana today as a headliner item is going to start off really expensive. Um, but depending on what that price range is and just, I mean, usually on Sundays, you don't see the cards that come out in the mini release. They're just not cheap, right? They're almost never cheap unless EA drops a preview pack today, which again, there's a slight possibility for that. Um, but that's the only way that I think Fofana is going to be cheap today. I think he's going to start off very expensive. Everybody is doing the Kloss SBC right now. Everybody is having, you know, a lot of people are using Genduzi. A lot of people have done Awar. It's just a lot of French links in people's clubs right now. So I think the Fofana is going to start off very expensive. Uh, and of course, they will run lightning rounds today. The real question is, will they do a preview pack? So besides the mini release today on Sunday, what other content could we have um, I think there's a couple things that we have on the radar, right? And these are technically leaks, but they've dropped icon SBCs, icon player SBCs before on Sundays. And we have two icon player SBCs that are leaked at this time. That is Baby Seedorf and Prime Fernando Torres. Prime Fernando Torres is really cool, right? That's a cool, and that's like relevant to the stage of the game right now. Primes have been in the game for like, what, three weeks now? Um, and they're dropping another Prime Icon SBC. I like that. I don't understand Baby Seedorf unless Seedorf's SBC is going to come in at like 150 or 200,000 coins and be very, very cheap. I don't really understand that one. I don't know if that is today either, uh, but I think, you know, Sundays have been days where they drop Player Icon SBCs before. So sometime either today or later on this week, I would expect those guys. There's also a bit of a leak for uh, a Ziyech. SBC. It's confirmed to be right wing. It is definitely not uh, confirmed to be coming out today, but soon 
uh, evidently we're getting a ZH SBC on this game as well. So I would say there's a higher percentage chance of Fernando Torres coming today and Baby Seedorf is icons. Not a very high percentage chance, but that's out there. It seems more likely to me than ZH. But we will see, right? We will see. Of course, those are just leaks with no date in mind. And we'll probably get some more information on that uh, today or, you know, be watching the Twitter machine as a lot of those leaks get updated almost daily. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that. But really for Sunday, Sunday content, the mini release is probably going to be the most hyped thing, maybe an SBC. Um, and other than that, I wouldn't expect too much uh, on this game. I think we have like a pack supply SBC as well. Yeah, performance is key. They dropped that. I believe that was either yesterday or two days ago. Uh, so they've been dropping a few of those. I think they dropped a kit or something like that as well. But anyways, Sunday content today will be basically dominated by the entrance of Fofana onto this game. That's what's going to be the most hyped thing about today. But let's talk about the market, right? Because we have compensation packs that EA have said have been all paid out. And as I'm looking at the market right now, I'm, I mean, I can see that, right? I can see some prices, especially um, on the headliner that I was just looking at, headliner Kimmich, down like 20K from where he was just a couple hours ago um, when EA tweeted that the packs have been fully compensated. Yeah, down here at 130, 140,000 coins. There's been a bit of a drop off because I think people have received those packs. Now, a lot of you guys in yesterday's video, when we were talking about the compensation packs, you were like, yo, Nate, I don't have these back yet. It seemed like EA said, update, we are um, we have started reaching out to players. This process will take some time and we will keep you updated. So it seems like they started the process because some of you guys messaged me like, yo, I got my packs back. And then other of you guys are like, and most of you guys are like, no, I have not gotten them yet. They tweeted this just a couple hours ago and they said, hey, the correct content has now been uh, provided. And I had a lot of you guys tweet me, say, yo, I did end up getting my pack. So I think all of the compensation packs are out now, but that really didn't go as how we thought it was going to be planned, right? I was really expecting, let's take a look at Kimmage's graph, right? You see this last night, it seemed like they did compensation because from Friday night, Kimmage went from 200K high 100s, they compensated with some packs, he went down to 170, and then it seems like they stopped for the night, right? They didn't give any more out, so there was really wasn't a drop yesterday morning like I thought there might have been. Then what you really saw was a drop into the content time, then a rebound because the content yesterday was not that insane, and now Kimmich is back down again as people are packing this card from EA giving out the rest of the compensation pack. So it's just a crazy situation. And again, this is something that we have never seen before. So we didn't exactly know how it was going to look, but EA was just all over the place with when they were giving out these packs. So it's nice that it's done. We don't have that looming now for this market at the moment. Um, but I do think that it has caused for a lot of these headliner team two cards to be supplied a lot extra. Uh, than headliners team one and the, of course the team of the week that is currently out so just being mindful and being careful of that Teate was like 90,000 coins yesterday he's dropped off a lot um, again he was 97k down all the way to 60k he was even at like 57 now he's back up a little bit so you know we'll have to keep an eye on these headliners because again there's going to be more lightning rounds today there's going to be more people focused on the brand new mini release today and stuff like that so that's the whole compensation situation that is done. It really didn't cause like a market crash. I think it really affected the headliners and the current team of the week prices the most um, on the game because of that situation. So that's just kind of something that is kind of wrapped up now. Who knows if we'll see something like that ever again. That was just kind of a crazy, a crazy thing that happened, right? With EA giving back so many packs. Who knows? We might see it again. It's just kind of something to put in the archives and say, all right, if this happens, it's going to take EA a long time. So it just feels like that that is also kind of put a, a level of uncertainty on this market right now. And that's kind of what I want to talk about is with the Kloss SBC yesterday and a lot of prices that I saw yesterday just around the market as a whole. It really feels like we've kind of reached the tipping point going into team of the year. And I think this SBC and a lot of the other good value SBCs that we have seen recently, like Alton Edward has been decent. Ben Rama was pretty good. And then this Kloss. I mean, so many people are doing this card. I mean, this this is an item that fits exactly straight into my team. 93 pace, 80 defense, 82 physicality. Of, again, the live upgrading aspect to this item uh, that it is. It's only 70,000 coins. And take a look at the thumbs up that this guy has on Footbin. There are two agendas right now that EA is pushing in this game. They are pushing Premier League and they are pushing French. And they are pushing the French agenda so 
hard. I mean, think about the SBCs we've had in the past couple weeks. Edouard, Payet, and Klaus, even in the last few days, three French SBCs that have been, you know, perfect for people to put in their teams. Uh, at the moment, so many people are using French squads. Fakir, Benzema, that's all that I see in Weekend League, right? And this guy, I mean, I tweeted it out yesterday. I said, this is giving me FIFA 19 Kenny Lala vibes. If you guys remember uh, the Kenny Lala from FIFA 19, I have to show you the card because this class with 7,000 upvotes and only 70,000 uh, coins is reminding me of this card, right? Everybody used Lala in FIFA 19. And it almost feels like uh, this year's Lala is class, right? So a ton of people are doing this SPC. I'm probably going to get it done myself. Again, since there was such an insane amount of demand for this card and since so many people are switching up their teams to include that class item, you saw right backs from across the game drop in price loads yesterday, right? Take a look at some of these other right backs. Traore is down. Um, I want to look at Mbabu. Where's Mbabu? Our Hakimis. I bought Hakimis at 123K, sold them at just over 130. He's now down to 109,000 coins. Atal's um, signature signings card is down a bunch. Take a look at this Mbabu, right? Mbabu was so inflated because he linked to the brand new um, Zakaria objective, right? This guy went from 130. He was all the way up in the 155K range. And then Klaus comes out. He goes all the way down to the low 120s where he's kind of been. He was 117. Now he's kind of rebounding back up again. This would be a card that, you know, you saw him here on this big price drop off. That was probably a decent investment, right? Out of packs item from a totally different league, right? If you were running a league one team, like look at Hakimi. Gold Hakimi has gone from like 26K to he's like halved in price. Yesterday he was 27,000 coins. Look at this drop off, right? So, so many people are doing this class, but guys like Mbabu, I think you might see a bit of a rise on him. I think you might see a bit of a rise on a guy like Trent Alexander-Arnold, or I didn't even see, did, did Reese James drop it all yesterday? Because that's a card that is a live item, brand new from Team 2, or Team 1 of Headliners. Reese James really didn't drop that much, uh, 133, so he's down maybe like 10K, so... That's not that big of a drop, but like that Trent Alexander-Arnold card, right backs across the game are just down bad um, because of the Klaus card yesterday. So some of those other than League One, like Treore, the Hakimi special cards, it'll take a little bit longer for them to bounce back since Klaus is like a direct substitute replacement for them. But guys like Mbabu that link to the Zakaria objective or maybe Trent Alexander-Arnold with, you know, it looks like we might be getting uh, Hakimi right wing soon. Again, you think about even the Reese James, if there's more panic selling on a Reese James item, that could be a potential card you maybe look to pick up. As I know, a lot of right backs are panic sold uh, on this game because of the Klaus, right? And then you have the other side of the coin, right? Is it so many people are buying cards to link up in their teams because they're doing the Klaus SBC. And take a look at this Niakate card. 145,000 coins yesterday. SBC comes out, boom. 166,000 coins. He's 160 right now. So a lot of your French links are up. Uh, where's like Baby Desai? An out-of-pack center back icon, 790K. So this guy's up like 30, 40,000 coins as well because usually he's in like the mid to low 700 range. So I would watch all of your French icons. I really would, especially if they're out of packs, especially if they're defenders. This Blanc is actually down. 575, it's kind of an undercut. I just think that Blanc doesn't have the hype that he used to have, but this would have been a card that I maybe would have expected to rise a little bit yesterday. Looks like that he didn't. Uh, your Genduzi card, did Genduzi rise? Because right now it shows him as 264. Uh, but I'm really curious to see if he actually went up when the SPC came out. Yeah, he did. He was 259, then went up to 272. So, again, the French links right now are what everybody's using, right? Alessandrini, 107. That is up in price. So, it's crazy to see the amount of hype that is pressed on the French links uh, at the moment. But that's also kind of with this market and what's going on right now. Um, as we head towards team of the year, I, th I think what I'm also starting to see is that a lot of cards from older promo teams, um, you know, they're, they're starting to drop off just a little bit, right? I was just taking a look at Zlatan's price. Uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he has been down a little bit in the past few days, uh, but Zlatan was like 2.7 mil. I think he's 2.74 right now. 2.74 on the market for Zlatan. He was just like 2.9 mil two or three days ago. Uh, I'm taking a look through some of the other wildcard items. Paul Pogba, 
Uh, I've been noticing him. He was like 1.1 all of the last few days. He is now closer to like the 1.04 million coin range. So he is down in price. Fabinho is down a little bit. Um, Modric, who was, who was usually in the high uh, 800 range, almost 900,000 coins, is right now about 830, 825. So it almost looks like that some people are starting to sell off some of their cards as we get into this, you know, team of the year time frame, which is completely natural, right? And we kind of expect it. We don't really expect a market crash. I mean, think about what happened for Black Friday. You know, you kind of had about a week and a half or two weeks before Black Friday. You you had EA, of course, they went out and they crashed the market themselves. But on these out of pack special cards that you see starting to drop a little bit, I think really what this is, is this people that are just getting ready for team of the year. That's really what I think that is. Look at Valverde, right? Valverde was like, I sold this dude at 677, 680K multiple times during the past week. Um, and he's been in the low to mid 600s like all day yesterday and even into today as well. So it seems like people are starting to maybe start to rock those untradeable squads. They're starting to think about team of the year, of course, as EA is putting out more of those uh, team of the year votes. Um, and, you know, we're going to have the defenders announced today on their Twitter, the defenders that are going to be in the team of the year vote, which starts tomorrow on Monday. So that's going to be out there. Wow. Atal is down like 25,000 coins because of uh cloth. That's kind of crazy. That's a big drop there, but it really just seems like this is kind of the tipping point. I don't think that you're going to see a huge market crash this weekend, but if there's a couple cards from your team that you want to you know, maybe get out, right? Maybe you have some winter wild cards in your squad, like Sterling. Maybe it's, uh, you know, Lucas Mora, or maybe maybe it's even like Soyuncu. Like Soyuncu has gone up like 30,000 coins. Maybe he was 47K. Now he's 90,000 coins. Some of these cards throughout this next week, I think it might be a decent shout to cash out on a few of them. Of course, as we start to get into this team of the year time frame, again, I don't think it's really going to be like, uh, it's not going to cause a market crash. And we're not going to be seeing prices drop a lot on this game unless EA really want the market to drop sometime in the next couple of days. I don't think you're going to see people just outright sell their teams for team of the year. Um, but prime icons have been another place in the market where the where a lot of prices has have dropped. And, and that, again, just kind of shows me that people are starting to prepare uh, for team of the year in the sense that they're just, you know, maybe it's a supply from some of the lightning rounds as well. But this Drogba has been 1.1 million coins for the past uh, like two weeks that he's been in the game, right? Now he's down under a million coins. Uh, where's Rio, right? I've been watching Rio pretty close. He's usually like 1.3. He's down in the 1.2 range. I think he was even lower. Roberto Carlos is, is an icon that I often flip and he's like been 1.2 to 1.3. Okay, so he's still 1.3, but... I've seen icons from all different levels. Prime Maldini, where's he at? Wow, 3-3. Three, three. This guy's dropping a lot too. So it just seems like this is the tipping point. As we head closer and closer into team of the year, you're starting to see people sell some cards off little by little as they expect a big market change around team of the year with some really, really insane cards coming onto the game uh, that, you know, of course, with team of the years, they're very expensive, of course, but there's a lot of great content that also comes out during that time frame. Upgrade packs, um, you know, we still have heroes on this game that people think are going to get upgraded or have new versions of them coming out soon. So like Ginola is 1.2 mil flat right now. He is down a bit in price. Um, so just keep an eye on that. That's all that I would say over these next few days and really watch the headliners from team two as well. If you guys remember last week with headliners team one, um, a lot of the headliners were cheapest kind of on that Sunday, Monday time frame. Uh, I think people are going to, you know, remember that from last week. And I think you're going to have a lot of people investing in headliners team two cards this weekend, whether it's today on Sunday or maybe Monday with foot champs rewards. I'd be, I'd be careful with these, um, because you might see some people selling these off today again with a little bit more supply, but then you might also have a lot of demand as people look to buy these back up. Um, heading into this next week because they're live cards. Headliners from Team 1 have exploded, right? Here's a specific example. Mr. Nkunku um, had himself a little one goal, two assist performance yesterday. He is up loads. This guy was 490,000 coins on a Friday, and he's 640,000 coins right now. 
uh, because of that potential upgrade that he has. Even the cards that aren't even getting upgraded, like Van Dyke is up 100,000 coins. Um, you've got Koulibaly is up a little bit, Nabry is up, Savernier has gone from 80k to, um, what's Van Dyke right now? 770k, 765, that's crazy. That's crazy. Savernier was 85K. He's now over 100. Carrasco, Acuna, Luis Diaz is up like 30,000 coins. So I think that a lot of people are going to be looking to invest uh, in these headliners from Team 2 because they've seen the insane rise from Team 1. So just kind of keep that in mind that buying early on some of these cards might be a bit of a play, albeit still a bit risky. Um, there's going to be a lot of people looking to invest in these, and I think with good reason. But we'll just kind of have to keep that situation in mind as we head throughout this week uh, of Headliners Team 2. So again, just a little bit of a backdrop. Again, today, content on Sunday, the Fofana, the mini release with Trap, Rafael Leao, and uh, Wilson would be the most, uh, almost 100% expectation for today's content. Maybe Prime Icon SBC for Torres and that baby Seedorf that has been leaked and maybe a ZH um, or something else. Um, I, I wouldn't expect it to be an insane day unless they drop a preview pack. So that's kind of today's video on the channel, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.